Our favorite neighborhood hacker forum and its mysterious head administrator have finally flown too close to the sun and have been brought down by the FBI and other law enforcement groups just one week after a user posted data that was taken from a Europol law enforcement portal. Man, doxing the feds, I mean, you've gotta admit, it takes a lot of balls and obviously it gets the alphabet boys really pissed off. I mean, just look at all the different law enforcement insignia that are here on this seizure banner. I mean, even the New Zealand police and some kind of Cyrillic alphabet boys helped out with this bust. So yeah, Breach Forums once again has been seized by the FBI and Baphomet, the admin that took over and relaunched Breach Forums shortly after Pom Pom Purin was arrested during its first seizure, is also alleged to be in police custody now. So the FBI haven't officially confirmed this yet, like they haven't, you know, doxed him. We haven't seen his real name in any court records or anything like that yet. But Shiny Hunters, one of the other leaders of Breach Forums or one of the other like top guys there um, after the most recent launch after Pom Pom Perrin was arrested, uh, said this in his Shiny Hunters telegram group. Hello everyone, we regret to inform you that Administrator Baphomet, our space cowboy, has been arrested leading to the seizure of pretty much all of our infrastructure by the FBI. At this point, the future of our forum remains uncertain. No members of Shiny Hunters have been arrested. We are currently waiting for further confirmation from our staff and we will keep you updated with any new announcements made to this channel. Signed by Shiny, and then we've got a paste bin for his PGP side message. Now, personally, I'm kind of leaning towards these claims of Baphomet being arrested being true, because in addition to Shiny Hunters saying that Baphomet was arrested, his personal website, baph.is, has been taken down. If you go to it, you get this, you know, DNS error from Cloudflare. And, you know, this was a website that is independent of breach forms. It's something that Baphomet has used for years to disseminate his PGP keys and also to communicate with people about like which forums he's been administering. Uh, Cause I believe he's administered a few. I don't know the complete background right off the top of my head right now. Um, and also, Baphomet's personal telegram group that he used to stay in touch with people in the hacker man community also has this message posted to it that the telegram group is under the control of the FBI and that same message word for word is also posted in the breach forums telegram group from Baphomet's account. Both of the postings in Telegram are from Baphomet's account, so also his Telegram account has been compromised. And then of course, there's the seizure banner that was actually posted on the Breach Forum's Onion site that's showing <laughs> Baphomet's profile picture behind bars. Uh, so the rumor of him being arrested even managed to make its way into the FBI's Photoshop team. Now, here is where the story gets crazy. Right now, what we're looking at is the Onion site for Breach Forums, which clearly has been taken over. We've got the seizure banner along with a link to breachforums.ic3.gov where you can fill out your personal details along with your username on raid forums or breach forums one or two. And you can also provide some other information here to help out the FBI if you wanna be a dark web hacker man turned federal informant. Happens more often than you think. In order to do what they did here, you know, put up the seizure banner, the FBI probably ended up getting control of the site's private key in order to actually take it over. But if we take a look at the Breach Forum's clear website, it just says that the site is temporarily offline and it gives a link to a Telegram channel called Jacuzzi 2.0. So basically this is the second version of the Breach Forums Telegroup Hangout channel. The initial one was just called the Jacuzzi. 
And here in Jacuzzi 2.0, Shiny Hunters has been talking to people saying that he's planning to bring the forum back. Now, of course, this has people asking a lot of questions like, how the hell did Shiny Hunters actually manage to get this domain back? Like, it's one thing if he would have posted an update like this to the Tor site, because even if the FBI have control of the private key for this Onion site, if Shiny Hunters or someone else also has access to the private key and you know has control of it, then both parties can spam updates to the homepage or you know spam updates to like the Tor network telling it what's supposed to be on the homepage. And then depending on when you go to it, you might see what the FBI wants you to see or you might see what Shiny Hunters or whoever else controls that private key wants you to see. Pretty much the same thing that we saw when the FBI took over Black Hat's hacker page. But obviously, the FBI didn't get all of the members of the Black Hat or LV or whatever they were going by. Um, so the remaining members were able to use the old page because they still control the private key to advertise their new one that the FBI didn't have shared control of. Now, Breach Forums most recently was using an ST, a .st TLD for their clear website, which just like the other TLDs that they use in the past, I think like VC and, and .co, all of those country top level domains belong to basically some country that just doesn't really police their internet or at the very least doesn't respond quickly to FBI or you know Europol demands to take it down. So if you're doing certain kinds of nefarious things, you can, you know, have a site that's on the clear web and, uh, you know, all the feds can really do is, I guess, appeal to Google and, and Bing and all the other mainstream search engines to not index it. But, you know, it, it's still able to exist on the clear web on that top level domain unless those countries that the top level domain belongs to or whatever companies behind it actually decide to do something about it. But yeah, this part here, this this is really just breaking news at this point because I think the new Telegram group, the Jacuzzi 2.0, was created just this morning, um, and you know obviously there's a lot of people that are in it and it's very active right now. But Breach Forums isn't back yet. Maybe it will be again soon. Uh, and maybe that honeypot will be even sweeter this time because I know a lot of people, myself included, were kind of suspecting that it was a honeypot after Pom Pom Purring got arrested because the feds literally had access to the infrastructure of breach forums. Um, I think um, Baphomet was actually the one who corroborated that story. And, you know, now Shiny Hunters has said that uh, when they got Baphomet, they compromised all the infrastructure again. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> the honeypot's probably a little bit sweeter. Or maybe, maybe the most popular hacker forum, they're going to learn from their mistakes and they're going to build the site back better in a way that the feds can't crack. Maybe they'll do that by writing the backend in Rust. Tell me what your thoughts are about the death and potential resurrection of breach forums in the comments below. Like and share this video to hack the algorithm and get yourself a comfy, breathable, stylish t-shirt on my website, based.win. 10% discount store-wide when you pay in Monero XMR. Have a great rest of your weekend.